10 years ago, we, uh, Richard moved into this house, so he's been living here for 10 years. Uh, the thought process started a little bit earlier than that. We hadn't really ever planned for Richard to move out, and then my husband had a heart attack, and he is fine now, but he had a heart attack, and that started us thinking that maybe we needed to plan, about, plan for Richard's future in a different way. And so we started looking for houses, and we wanted someplace really close to us. So we found a house that was maybe five minutes away from our house. What we did was bring Richard to his house every day, tell him that this was his house, that he was going to live there. And so he's very familiar with it. And then when the time came for him to, when we decided that the house was ready and it was time to move in, um, I moved in with him. So for the first three months that Richard lived in the house, I stayed in the house too. His dad came over for dinner and, and hung out with us. But um, I was here, I, I stayed at nights. I was still working, so I, you know, so I, uh, it was kind of a busy time. But it, I wanted to get the feel for the house, the routine, and how Richard settled into the house and how he wanted things done. And so after about three months, I think I had a pretty good handle on things. So then we were ready for staff to come in, so we introduced him to staff. and. Um, over the course of, of the 10 years that Richard has lived in this house, uh, we've seen he has done so much better than we ever expected. The first Christmas he was here, we had an open house, uh, and um, everybody brought him Christmas ornaments. So that was, that was kind of fun. So, but it, it's, um, you know, he clearly knows it's his house, and, um, uh, and he does do, he is responsible for some of the chores. He, um, you know, takes out the trash, he uh, and ga gathers and takes out the trash, carries the laundry up and down the stairs, um, you know, puts his, uh, puts his clothes, uh, folds his, cl his clothes and puts them in the drawers. Um, we are the owners of the house currently. The house will go into his uh, trust uh, on, on when we pass away. And uh, he also, we have, we have a stable account for Richard. And our intent for the stable account will be, because Richard does have a, a a trust set up for him, but we thought the stable account would really be great for him if he should have like a home repair emergency where he needed to call a plumber or somebody could, that we needed to pay right away. So, so he has the stable account to, help, to use in case of uh, some kind of an emergency. Richard does have 24-7 support. The only time he doesn't have staff from the agency with him would be when he's at the kids center during the day. And then um, I jokingly call myself the weekend staff person because we like to spend weekends with Richard. And so um, from the beginning, I decided that uh, he would continue to do the weekend activities with the family. And uh, so we go out to breakfast on Saturday mornings. Uh, my, my dad, we go visit my dad on the weekends. So we just really enjoy having him. And, and I think in a way it is because we don't, we're older now and we don't have that constant responsibility, the weekends are a real treat, getting to spend the weekends with Richard. Now, I kind of have a, a thing. Richard went to Princeton High School, and he grew up in Evendale. And so I have kind of created a community around Richard where I want him to go to places within that community where everybody knows him. We had an experience where a staff member um, locked her keys in her car. And so the Evendale Fire Department came to help her get in her car. So when the fire, fireman got there, he said, oh, I know, I know Richard. I went to high school with him. And um, you know, so he goes to the recreation center in his community. Everybody knows him there. Um, and um, you know, the restaurants he goes to are in the community. So he, he goes to the library that's in the community. So it's just really important to me that Richard is in this community and um, it's a safety thing. I think people are always looking out for him. Um, and, um, but it's also people are always greeting him. And, um, and so that, that was just one of the things that I felt was really important, that, that Richard doesn't need so much the experience of going to a new restaurant across town. He needs to be going to the restaurants where they know him and he knows them and everybody's comfortable.